Hey everyone, this is Alpaco and I wanted to talk about the Alice camera. If you don't know what that is, it's a Micro Four Thirds camera being developed by a very small company. I believe they only have six or seven developers creating this very interesting camera. The Alice camera is touted as a camera for creators and uses a slew of AI enhancements to create the image. It's a standalone camera that wirelessly connects to your phone. This concept isn't entirely original. There are at least two other cameras that I know of created in the past that did just that. The Olympus Air and the Sony QX series. There's also the DxO1 which attached to the lightning port. There are pocketable cameras without screens that attach to the phones. I had the Olympus Air and it was actually more annoying than fun so I returned it in just a couple of weeks. What makes the Alice camera different? What makes them so sure they're going to revolutionize the camera market? I think the problem with the Olympus Air and the Sony QX is simply the age of the tech. Those cameras were created at the wrong time. Wireless and processor technology is so much better now and the whole field of creators in general is very different. The previous cameras did not sell very well. They didn't have a market for them at the time. Now, Alice kind of does make sense. New cameras are being aimed at specific professional markets. Each camera released attracts a specific niche of filmmakers or a specific niche of photographers. Sports and wildlife photographers have a slew of cameras to choose from. Filmmakers of different levels have, different, have dozens of cameras to choose from. Street photographers have cameras, the hobbyist photographer have, they have hundreds of cameras to choose from, and that's not even considering the used market. How can Alice stand up against that? especially when these cameras can do a lot of AI enhancements now. A lot of these cameras can connect to phones. A lot of them can connect to computers. These cameras don't need to rely on a phone just to compose an image. With all these other cameras to compete against, why am I so interested in this camera? I work in digital media and digital marketing. I make short photos and videos for local businesses and social media is an important part of my job. Being able to shoot good quality photos and videos directly, then directly editing them on my phone and then posting them is extremely enticing to me. Nothing I shoot is very long and need much editing. Speed is important to me for those jobs. For higher end jobs where I need a dedicated camera, then I have a camera, I have cameras to use. Being able to shoot, edit, and share immediately can take hours off my workload every week. Now this is only a small reason I like the thought of this camera. The other reason is that it's completely open source. This is the main aspect of the Alice that's very interesting to me. As they state, anyone can create mods and improvements as they see fit. This is what makes the camera genius. This is what I would define as the creator's camera. Can you imagine adding mods or other enhancements from, other el from someone else and adding them to your camera? Or even creating your own mod and using that, experimenting with different things that you've always wanted in the camera. While the Olympus Air was an open source camera, it didn't quite grab the creator market. And without a community to help bolster the camera, it faded out. The fact that it's open source has a community, and is extremely small, is something I'll support 100%. I'm a big fan of the underdog. This is why I am very excited for the Alice, and it's my most anticipated camera for 2022. Okay, that's not entirely true. That spot belongs to another underdog, the OM-1, but it's close. There's a lot to like with the Alice. There's also a lot of doubt with it. All the streaming and camera apps from these bigger manufacturers are all pretty good now. They all present different limits, though. We still don't know what the limits of what the Alice has, but it might bring a solid change to the creator industry. If you haven't gotten a chance to check out Alice, check out their Facebook group and uh, check out their YouTube channel. They're also taking pre-orders, but they are limited. So if you're interested, I suggest grabbing one now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.